Brother, if there is one thing I want you to be aware of, is to be aware of the man who calls himself friend. Yes, sir, there are many ways to deceive someone, not only in this game, but when it comes to your actual life, where people will try and take advantage of the kindness that they give and the kindness that you receive from them. And it's up to you to understand certain situations that are practical and not practical. For purposes, I don't know what purposes, I'm going to be speaking about this from the Ngak Wrong perspective. Hopefully they translate to... Hopefully they translate outside of it. Uh, but yeah, let's talk. <laughs> Oh my god. This was still going. Shit. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to edit. Um. Well, ah, oh man. I feel like such a dunce. No, but I love that intro. I love that intro. I didn't wanna. Huh. Alright, you know, you know, I don't know. I don't know. We'll chalk this up to me being a goof. And. Uh, we're just going to continue as if I pressed pause and now we're at the point where I found a location to start talking to you. All right. Good talk. Good talk. All right. So the man who calls himself friend is very common in your life. This is the man that starts off and tells you that, you know, don't worry about anything. Whatever obstacle comes your way, whatever ails you, I will be the provider to your solution. It always sounds, always sounds like a good deal until you see what, uh, you see what the sausage is really made out of. There are always going to be times and opportunities where somebody reveals their true colors, what motivates them, and until you realize that, it's hard to trust that person. You might be somebody that is extremely trusting, so I want to see what that does. Oh my god, you can drop the Dragon Ball. That is sick. There are times where someone will betray your trust and it's up to you to recognize points of contention that can inflate to such situations where somebody could betray that trust that you've given them. All in all, let's try and break things down. Let's try and talk in more simpler ways now. So the easiest way that somebody will gain your trust is by giving you something. I've seen this a lot in DBO, especially in my case. When I first started, I didn't really know what to expect. But because I was doing YouTube for this game, people saw me as like, like you know, like a figurehead and all, all that stuff. And people naturally wanted to support, you know, support the cause and stuff like that. What I needed to parse through was people supporting me versus people wanting to, you know, use my name or use somebody's name as a, as a way to get more in the game. I saw this a lot with, it still happens to this day, where 
I'm not saying, not saying like not calling anyone out because this hasn't happened recently, but it does happen where somebody that acts in a bad way, they try and gain my trust and they try and use that trust between me and him in order to show other people that they're a good person. And in by doing so, they can actually sneak in get the kill, the kill meaning scam, right? When I first started, I saw this a lot where somebody would say, hey, I'll give you gold. Um, and, you know, I'd say, no, thank you. Just because I, I knew, I knew that like something would be awry if I took, if I took a handout for no reason, right? But the biggest, the biggest thing that I saw was if this person wouldn't give it to me, if this person wouldn't give me this item, this widget, had I not had this channel, I shouldn't take it because it's not something they would give regardless. That's how I could easily discern whether or not they are acting in the best interest. Right. So what I would find out is a lot of people, they wouldn't show, they wouldn't show their colors. They sh wouldn't show their colors at first. They'd try and gain my trust at first. And then they transition into trying to sweeten the deal just so I could either provide them a, sh a shout out to solidify the trust between us. Right. And... Oh, oh, oh my god. It's the op. Get out of here. I get out of here. Alright. Kind of like what I'm doing with these bots. I'm pretty flipping sure that one of these guys offered me gold at some point, right? But the thing is, I'm not giving in people like this also with the dropping dragon ball strat these guys can tie me and then nothing will happen because oh that's so amazing i love that so much all right long story short people try and give me something i'd say no then they they try and pressure they try and pressure me into giving into accepting this gift right because i knew as soon as i accepted that gift then it wouldn't be an actual gift it would be something like okay i gave you this so could you return the favor or something like that and that would happen a lot and it happens to this day it happens pretty freaking frequently if i may if i do say so myself and the biggest issue with that with accepting gifts is you don't know if something is a gift or not right so if I were to have accepted that gift, I would have I would have been in a position where I owe something to that guy, right? And if I feel like I owe something to someone, I'm obviously going to pay them back. And it's because of that having that that feeling to have to give back is why I never really took things in the first place. And then, you know, weeks later, months later, people can't keep up the facade for very long. So what I noticed was as soon as, you know, I wasn't like the shill that they thought me to be, they would jump ship to the next person. Then I would find out things like they would tell, they would try and pull the same trick on someone else of a lower status and what would happen would would be they they would just t either take their account take their gold scam them and it would result in you know obviously them being sad because like dude they trusted somebody that would give them oh my god ggs 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 All right. They would trust that they would trust the person that gave them that item because like 
they didn't lie to them in the past, why would they be lying now? And it's it's a huge slippery slope. That's why I don't recommend I'm I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I'm gonna drop this Dragon Ball. I don't personally recommend accepting items from strangers only because of that. This guy is trying to kill me, but he can't because oh my god. How am I tied? I'm not even Who is tying me? How did you do that? What? Bro, this gotta be some advanced type hack, bro. What is he doing with Satan, bro? Hell no. Nah. Heck no, nah. I gotta I gotta I gotta show him what's up. What? And he just left. There's no way that you can actually just leave though. With the Namekian dragon oh he probably just exit if he exited out the game though, you would have so either he went to South Guru and he's hiding here or he's at Maima Deep. I don't see how he just got up and left without leaving the Dragon Ball behind. Anyways. But yeah. I don't know why I meant to make this video as long as possible. I don't know why I try to make it as deep as possible. Just don't... Just be wary where a lot of what you're receiving is coming from. Because it it can come from terrible means. Like, the ends don't justify the means sometimes. So what I would see is this person would... Give items, give gold, give gems to an unsuspecting YouTuber of the game, you know. And then months down the line, because they gave that gift, they feel entitled to taking whatever of that person. Because they gave this amount, they should expect something of equal or lesser value. And it's all relative to your situation at the time where it's like okay i gave you five million gold five years ago right five million gold before has more weight to it now therefore i think i should receive something that's like 25 million gold of value so then i take something that's 25 million gold worth of value and the person that i'm taking from they're complaining because it's like hey you gave me a gift but not really. The The term gift has a lot of stipulations, a lot of strings attached to it. And it's not even something in DBO. This is pretty much everywhere that you see. The word gift has, I don't think has ever had meaning. If it, if it did have meaning, uh, I mean, I just wouldn't know about it. But yeah, um, that's pretty much what i want to talk about i apologize if i uh, went off track a lot i apologize if i straight up just didn't pause the video at certain times um but yeah but yeah that's uh that is about it um let's see let's end this video by me screwing up the bots because i hate these guys these guys with a passion and um, i tried facing them a little bit ago but i i didn't see this button here what this button does is it'll drop the Dragon Ball. So, like, when they tie me, I don't have to, I don't have to actually face these guys. So, like, if they try and jump me, I don't need to, I don't need to just take it. I can just drop the Dragon Ball and then just wait for them to try and counter, which they're not going to be able to. Because in a 1v1, I will easily take them. But when they jump me, like, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> So yeah, now we uh now we fight them. Nah, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Oh. Alright. You know what? That didn't even seem like a botter, honestly. But the person that he's protecting is a botter. No, no 
No ifs, ands, or buts of who is tying me here. That's the thing I just don't understand. Who could possibly be tying me here? All right, you're done. You're done. You're done. Goodbye, botter. Goodbye, every single one of the botters here. Nope. 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 Disciples aren't even safe either. Nope. 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 Come on, come on. What you got? What you got on me? What you got on me, baby? What you got on me, baby? Yeah. Yeah, I'm the king of the castle. I'm the... Oh, shit. Yeah, no, no. This guy's 1,000% protecting botters. Screw this guy. Oh, oh. Oh, looks like I dropped a Dragon Ball. You cannot fight me. Oh, looks like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, now he picked it up. Now he picked it up. <laughs> All right, test this out. Mafuba. Yes, it worked. Oh, this guy's hiding behind the other. Dead. Let's go, baby. Get out of here, baby. We killed the bots. We killed the goddamn bots. Ah, uh, done, 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 done. All right. Honestly, this might be its own separate video. <laughs> I might just like just cut a portion of this. Oh, they're they're coming back. They're coming back just to die. Oh my god, it's an earth. It's an earth. Death 21. And now we see who's behind all of this. The boss battle to this. The boss battle. Alright, thanks, Death 21. I I finally got your uh finally got your name down. Alright. Oh, uh, but yeah, that's about it. Lord of like, Lord of subscribe, and Lord of peace. See ya. Dang. I actually, I got wrecked. I'm not going to lie. But, oh man. As soon as you have to resort to getting an Earth account, bro, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. You kind of win. It's like, it's like if you fight a Saiyan and you force them into going Super Saiyan, like, you kind of win low-key. <laughs> All right, see ya.